Carfilly is a hard, crumbly white cheese that originated in the area around the town of Carfilly, Wales. It is thought to have been created to provide food for the local coal miners. The Carfilly of that period had a greater moisture content, and was made in local farms. At the start of the 20th century, competition for milk in the local area saw production decline, and Carfilly production was gradually relocated to England. During the Second World War, production was stopped and diverted to cheddar in English factories. After the war, those factories began to produce Carfilly as it was quicker to make than cheddar, and therefore more profitable. The majority of Carfilly is now produced in Somerset and Wiltshire. Artisan cheesemakers still make Carfilly in the pre-war style, and these have been successful at the British Cheese Awards. History Carfilly cheese was originally a moist curd, made in local farms. It has since been replaced with a much drier version produced on an industrial scale. However, there still remain some cheesemakers producing carfilly in the old style on an artisan basis. The cheese was originally made to feed the coal miners of the area. It has subsequently been suggested that the salt content of the cheese was required by manual workers, and it can be cut into wedges and does not dry out in the conditions underground. Carfilly became a center for cheese production, but over time competing demands for the milk required resulted in production of the cheese moving to England at the start of the 20th century. Farmhouse Carfilly production died out during World War II as it did not keep as well as cheddar from English factories for the war effort. After the war those factories started making their own versions of Carfilly, which matured very quickly and thus required less financing. Over time, the public forgot the difference between the old and new Carfilly cheeses. The majority of mass-produced Carfilly cheese is now produced in the English counties of Somerset and Wiltshire. There was a resurgence in farmhouse-produced Carfilly during the 1980s in Wales, as a result of the work of Sanarth cheese. This originated because milk quotas imposed at the time meant that milk was being thrown away, and so Thelma Adams decided to make a business out of producing cheese from the excess milk. By the late 1990s, there were no cheesemakers in Carfilly making the cheese for which the town is known. Realizing this, Castle Dairies began making the cheese shortly after they opened in the town. Rather than using factory methods, they used the pre-war production techniques by hand. They won a gold and a bronze award at the British Cheese Awards in 2000. Carfilly cheese was one of nine Welsh products considered by the British government in July 2015 as candidates for name protection under the geographical indications and traditional specialities in the European Union rules. It was the only cheese considered as a candidate on the list. Description Carfilly is a light-colored crumbly cheese made from cow's milk, and generally has a fat content of between 45% and 55%. It has a mild taste, with a tang of lemon. A traditional carfilly must be made with milk produced by Welsh farms. It can be either pasteurized or unpasteurized, and comes in both organic and non-organic varieties. It is created by adding rennet to buttermilk, resulting in curd production. This is then formed and cut, before being pressed lightly into a cylindrical mold. These rounds are then submerged in a bath of brine for 24 hours to cause the production of a rind. Rice flour is used to dust the outside of the cheese, resulting in a white color for the rind. The cheese ripens quickly, in as little as two weeks. The acid production of the cheese is initially slow, but builds up. This and the low temperature used during production mean that the acid naturally dries out the curd, causing the crumbly texture. The cheese is nicknamed, the crumblies. Protected status Traditional Welsh Carfilly and traditional Welsh Carefilly are both protected by European Protected Geographical Indication (PGI) status. Topic: Reception and Legacy. An article in the Chicago Sun Times in 1987 extolled the virtues of Carfilly cheese. It described it as having a mild, salty buttermilk. 
Flavor and being halfway between ricotta and cheddar, B. Wilson, writing for the Daily Telegraph on 9 October 2011, praised the old style of carfilli now made by small-scale producers such as Gorwith Farm. She compared it to French cheeses, calling it «buttery» in comparison to the post-war mass-manufactured type which she called «young and flavorless, with the texture of chalk». The town of Carfilly holds an annual three-day festival to celebrate the cheese, entitled the Big Cheese Welsh, Y Cause Mar. Also in Carfilly is a sculpture of a cheese. A Best Carfilly Cheese category forms part of the annual British Cheese Awards. In 2004, Gorwith Carfilly won both the Carfilly Prize and the overall award for Best Traditional British Cheese. It was made by brothers Todd and Magan Trethowen at their family farm in Tregaran, Saradigion. However, they failed to win the best Welsh cheese category. Topic. See also List of cheeses List of British cheeses